Now for my favourite part of the meal, dessert. Mmm, sorbet. Sorbet, bueno. <laughs> so tell me, Stefano, tell us about this sorbet. Uh, okay. Your family's been gonna... doing it for how long? For a long time. Like, my... Uh, in, in my town, mm -hmm. my little village, Arizzo, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is being made from the 1500. Mamma mia. Mm. That's a long time. That's a long time, yeah. Beautiful. Now I'm going to introduce you my cousin Marco. Huh. He's going to show us how to make, in traditional way, the sorbet. And now we're going to show you how to make saccarapina. In Sardinian language means sorbet. It's really whole traditional recipe from 500 years ago. We go back in Arizzo, little village in the middle of Sardinia, beautiful place for holiday. In Sardinia, 900 years ago, all the village living with the highs. It's make big hole where in during the winter it fill the hole with snow, then press with the foot, keep all winter doing this, ready for summer. It's no refrigeration at that time. So in June and summer, Harizzo, all the people living in Harizzo, resell the highs in all the part of Sardinia. In June and summer, he cut the highs in pieces and with the cut before and after with the horse, he bring in all the part of Sardinia. It was really hard work. Highs is no part of the ingredient of Sacarapinia. It just need highs to make carapinia. And now I'm going to introduce Marco. Marco is from Arezzo. He's gonna to show to us how to make sacarapinia in the old traditional way. Marco. Nami. Come ti ascolta la storia sacarapinia? Eh, sacarapinia, sacarapinia. Now you guys, it's a long, long, long day. So it's carapinia, it's a long story for 900 years ago, roughly. And it's a traditional sorbet from Arizzo. So first thing we need the bottle. It's a wood bottle made or made of course in Sardinia. <laughs> then we're gonna need to cut the highs in little pieces just to put around and one big part to put in the bottom. So can the eyes is gonna be really compact. We start to cut the lemon, we squeeze the lemon, then we add the, the, the water and the sugar. That's, we stir a lot until it's come the proper liquid.
important part to make the sorbet. So the salt make sure the ice will go in low temperature. Grazie, bello! I did sorbet, remind me Sardinia. Actually, I miss a little bit, but you can go in Sardinia, just 45 minutes fly from Rome. When you arrive, you're gonna find a beautiful city in Cagliari, if you arrive in Cagliari, of course. It's a beautiful and old city. It's been dominated for a lot of people, Spanish, Portugal, so a lot of traditional store in there and of course a lot of traditional cuisine in there. Especially if you go in the middle of the city in a beautiful and old restaurant it's called Sugumbidu. It can bring you back for 50 and eat the really traditional Sardinia food in the way it was cooking before. Then from Cagliari you can go all around and you can find in Oristan a beautiful one like we showed before from Alessandro Contini. Then you can go and have eat a fresh seafood, the best seafood in Sardinia. Only Renzo can make and he made the Fregula by his end. That's a beautiful story. You can go in there, it's a really nice restaurant. Then we go back, we can go in Arizzo. Arizzo is my original town, little village in the middle of the Mediterranean, in the middle of Sardinia, in the mountain, 800 meters up to the level of the sea. It's a beautiful place to be for holiday, for relax. You can go in my family hotel, I really suggest that, of course. <laughs> and in there you can find the internal food, so special the little pig, it's called suckling pig in Australia. It's beautiful, cook, slow cook, three or four hours just to cook. And this 
suckling pig is come straight for the farmers. It's actually the same farmers during summer, you go in Cagliari and trade the highs and get back lemon. So get back to Arizzo, use the rest of the highs and go all around Sardinia to make carapina. That's the way I was working before and the way I'm still working now. So this is the sorbet, carapina. Mm. Amazing. Stefano, that sorbet was magnificent. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for having me. Can I come back? You can come back. <laughs> Grazie. I can show you more recipe from Sardinia. I can't wait. Grazie. Arrivederci. Thank you. Asibidi. Asibidi. <laughs>